This is a picture of the universe. This is actually a picture of the night sky. If any of you are interested in astronomy, that thing up there is the constellation of Orion that you can always see in the winter sky. But I want to focus, I want you to focus on a piece of sky that's somewhere around here. I'm going to zoom in on it now. It's a piece of sky that you would cover if you took a five pence piece and held it about 25 metres away. So imagine taking a five pence piece and putting it 25 metres away over a tiny piece of sky. Well, a few years ago now, the Hubble Space Telescope, which is in orbit around the Earth, turned its gaze to that tiny piece of sky, the five pence piece bit of sky, and took a picture. It opened its camera shutter for thousands and thousands and thousands of seconds and just gathered the light from that piece of sky. It was deliberately chosen because it's a dull, uninteresting piece of sky. Actually, from the surface of the Earth, you would see virtually nothing in it at all. But this is the picture that Hubble took and you see that it's anything but empty. It's called the Hubble Deep Field image. It's one of the most important and fascinating images in the recent history of astronomy. Um, it's not empty. It's got lots of structure, lots of points of light in. There are actually over 10,000 points of light or blobs in that image. And virtually every one of them, over 10,000 of them, are actually galaxies, distant galaxies. So they're not stars, they're galaxies. Now those galaxies on average have, what, 100,000 million stars like our sun in them, at least. So 100,000 million stars in each one of those 10,000 blobs. The most distant object in that image, and I'm going to talk a bit about how we know these things in a moment, but the most distant object is 13.2 thousand million light years away. It was actually discovered in this image only a few months ago. Now, light travels at 300,000 uh, kilometers per second, 186,000 miles a second. And at that speed, it's taken over 13 billion years to travel from the most distant object in that image to Earth, to the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, when you think that the Earth is only just under 5 billion years old, it means that most of the light from most of the galaxies in that image began their journey, began its journey to Earth before there was an Earth. And for some of the most distant galaxies there, they were over halfway here when the solar system was just a cloud of gas and dust. It hadn't yet coalesced into the sun and the planets and moons of the solar system. So imagine what that looks like. That's a tiny, remember, five pence piece, piece of sky 25 metres away. Imagine what that looks like when you extend it over the entire sky. Well, this is a beautiful map of the observable universe. Every dot on that map is a galaxy with 100 billion stars like our sun in it, at least. They're, you see that the structure in there, they're not randomly distributed. It's very interesting.